Good morning, everyone, and welcome to CWB TV. I'm Grant Gibson, Deputy Director of Golf here at the Clearwater Bay Golf and Country Club. And along with me, I have Sam Maltby, our head golf professional. Welcome, Sam. Hello, thank you. I'm here with very, very good news, everyone. The Bunker Project is finally finished. So you've now got your golf course back and a few things have changed uh, since the completion. Sam, tell us a little bit about some of the changes you've seen, particularly here on hole number two. As you said, obviously we've got plenty of new bunkers out there. Um, this hole is probably one of the biggest changes that we've seen here um, with the bunker renovation. Before, we used to have lots more bunkers down this right-hand side and the left-hand area was completely open. What Harley, the course designer, decided was that we wanted to reduce the number of bunkers on the right hand side because we already have the trouble of the sea and we've put in a new bunker on the left here to just make you think a little bit more about the tee shot and try and push you a little bit more further to the right. If you were a good player, a longer hitter and you did manage to hit that side, you'd then have a slightly better angle to get down to the green if you did manage to um, be able to take it on in two shots. Yeah, we have a big thanks also to our contractor Asian Sports Turf and Harley Cruise who did a great job during the renovation over the past two years. Okay members, here we are down in one of the bunkers. We've had a lot of feedback on, on how difficult it is to get out of the bunkers and it's going to take a little bit of time for the sand to bed in which will take place over the coming months. So please be patient if your ball does get a bad lie. But we're going to get Sam to explain how to get out of these bunkers. So Sam, tell us what you're going to tell all your students on how you're going to get out of this bunker. In particular, this bunker's got a very high lip. Yeah, well as you said, this one's uh, a high face and that's where people tend to have the most trouble. The thing you find most common for people when they get a high face is that they just try to lean back on the shot, they try to send the ball up and end up making a bad strike, either thinning the ball or hitting behind it. What we want to try and do is pick enough loft, so I've got my 58, that's going to send the ball up. I'm going to open that club a little bit to help get a little bit of extra height, but again be careful you don't open that club too much. If you open it too much, you tend to expose a little bit too much bounce and if the sand gets firm, difficult to make the contact. So I'm gonna stand nice and wide, ball just forward of centre, like I said, a little bit open with that club and I'm just trying to make a committed swing, trying to strike close to that golf ball. So I sit down in that shot, a little bit open and that ball pops up hopefully nice and high, and you can see it cleared the lip by quite a comfortable distance. Well, great shot, Sam, and that's great, great information for everyone. But what's even more important, everyone, is leaving the bunker better than you found it. So I've got the rake here, and we always want to make sure we take our club outside the bunker, give it nice, smooth raking, making sure all the footprints and the marks from the club hitting the sand, so you actually leave it nice and smooth for the next person. Also, what's really important for your safety is always choose the lowest part of the bunker to come in and out of. I hope you've enjoyed this. Take care of the course and we'll see you soon.